So guys, what on earth should you actually hire your first ever first line writer for your actual agency and get an appointment set up for your agency so you can automate doing your outreach? Now guys, this is a very, very important video. So before I get into this, please drop a like, comment and subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell so you know you can get notified whenever I drop a, a, a new video and so that I can actually you know rank higher in the algorithm and help more people with things that actually really work for their SMA business. So just real quick guys, the reason why I said this video is very important is because I see a lot of people People make the same mistakes when it comes to starting an agency. Here's what they do. They first of all start Googling how to make money online. They come across all these different business models. So they drop shipping, Amazon FBA, all these businesses. For some reason, normally, this is normally what happened, is what I did as well. They normally start you know picking drop shipping. They pick drop shipping, they see that it's harder than what it sounds. There's all these different problems that, that crop up that nobody taught them about. Then they go into SMA because it sounds like a more legit business because it genuinely is a more legit business, more solid, foundationally solid business in my opinion, because obviously you're not worried about like shipping costs, all that sort of stuff. Plus it just makes sense, like helping somebody who doesn't know how to market their business online, you help them market their business online through social media and they pay you for that. That's basically business one-on-one. -on -one. You're just helping somebody do something and they pay you to help you. It's almost like an accountant basically. So it's, it's solid. Then they go into how did you actually start a social media marketing agency and they go down the rabbit hole of looking at all these YouTube videos and whatnot from all the same gurus and they try doing cold outreach it doesn't work for them so here's what i want you two guys to remember that like first of all cold outreach does work it's just that it takes a lot of numbers for it to work i'm not even joking when i say a lot of numbers i li it literally took me eight months of doing cold emailing straight consistently to actually land my first ever client and i was actually doing around 10 emails per day so it actually worked out to be around 1,600 individual emails I had to send to individual e-com brands in order to land just one of them. Now that may sound like a lot to you, but it's not actually that, that much if you actually think about it. I mean, think about it. If you're actually sending 100 emails per day, that's only 16 days worth of work. Now to send 100 emails per day, obviously you have to have some systems behind you for that. But the problem is, is that you can't just go and get those systems straight away. Obviously you have to warm up your email. You have to make sure that you have the right systems in place in terms of first line writers, because there's no way on earth a normal human being, even Gary Vaynerchuk, for example, that's like oh, super pumped all the time, is gonna be able to send 100 emails per day, not personalized emails per day anyway. And by the way, I don't ever recommend sending emails that are not personalized to anybody Ever. So make sure that your emails are actually genuinely personalized. Now, when should you hire a first line writer? Now, real quick, the, I, I need to take you back just real quick to actually make you understand this. So first and foremost, I actually started off doing cold emails when I first got started like four years ago with my agency. I just had my four year anniversary of like running my agency and whatnot. Not that I was successful for my first 17 months. My first 17 months were terrible. And the reason for that was because I was doing all these cold messages, right? Thinking that I was cranking out enough numbers and my scripts were very bland and I was just using like very like bland templates with no personalization. So the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out how to even set meetings yourself first when it comes to actually, you know, doing emails. So here's what I recommend you do. I recommend, right, you first of all, get some sort of traffic source working first. And this is what I did. I stopped all cold outreach, right? And I just focused on Upwork outreach because that was a warmer traffic source. I got that to work for me first and I was actually making money that, so I could sustain myself first. So if you're in a position where you can't even sustain yourself, I technically would probably just recommend getting some sort of job like Uber Eats or doing something part-time, maybe working in a call center to learn sales experience, just getting some sort of form of money coming in so you can sustain yourself first. I know a lot of people actually think that they can just quit their job and dive into to SMA and then get clients in their first like month or something like that or first week or something like that or like scale it to 10k in their first like two weeks or whatever it is and then they'll be they'll be good. It doesn't it doesn't work like that guys. What I had to do is I struggled, I had trials, tribulations, I was broke for literally ages, quite literally over for, for years basically when I was building my building my agency it was not fun whatsoever guys. So I actually you know, it was actually 17 months or it was actually a little bit longer than that. It was 20 months into my journey where I actually started using Upwork. It was actually December 2019. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard this story so many times now. But I started on December 2019 using Upwork only. I quit all other outreach methods and just used Upwork. I then got that to work for me over a year run something period. So I just literally focused on Upwork, literally was just using Upwork only just to get clients basically. I was not doing anything else, just using Upwork, getting clients and actually worked very, very well for me, extremely 
extremely well to the point where it was like I actually got complacent with it in terms of like I didn't really have any bills so making like 5.2k and above with, with my actual agency I think it was a little, around that particular mark again you can go back on my videos and go and verify that and whatnot but there was literally times where I was I was pulling in quite a decent amount making more than the more, more than the average person with a, a, a degree plus years a couple of years of experience to be honest with you now I've got bonuses I was literally making more than because over here in the UK like the average salary is like, like 2.5k 3k or something like that and I was making like 5.2k USD which is like I don't know I think that's like 4k USD 3.5k USD or whatever it was but I was actually making a decent wage back then plus back then I was sharing an apartment with my actual you know girlfriend at the time sharing a flat if you will and we literally I didn't really have any bills because it was kind of like splitting it so it was like I was like way less bills so I was at really if you work out the like kind of like the expenses to how much money the income ratio I was making like I like low expenses lots of income coming up the decent amount of income coming in not lots but you know a decent amount of income I was kind of chilling to be honest with you I was kind of cooling if you will so it wasn't really like a big push then but the point I'm trying to make here is that I, I sorted myself out first I got myself out of that scarcity mindset first and then what I decided to do was I decided to start using cold emails at the back end of 2020 I think it's actually yeah it was actually 2020 so back end of 2020 I actually quit YouTube to focus on kind of like building out a, a more econ based agency because obviously the whole pandemic and stuff like that happened and whatnot so I said to myself okay cool let's actually start trying cold emails and introducing cold emails again but here's the key I'm trying to make guys I sorted out my my mindset first in terms of I wasn't in that scarcity mindset anymore and I physically wasn't like not even just mindset but my actual life was actually going the way I wanted it to be like, I was actually genuinely making money from Upwork and I didn't really need more money to be honest with you there, there wasn't really a need obviously it was more of a, a want at that point it was what I'm trying to say is I wasn't dead broke struggling to survive so I was actually making money if you will and that kind of enabled me to just relax take a step back chill and just send some cold emails without really needing to land a client and I think this is how I became good at cold emails I literally just literally I was just lax I didn't actually care if I landed clients with cold emails I was just testing it out first so what I did was I tested cold emails out first whilst I was actually making money from somewhere else so that it wasn't like my emails weren't coming across as super salesy is what I'm trying to say I could I had the time to, to go back and forth with clients I didn't really need the money right there and then so I've noticed another big thing with with people that start SMA and stuff like that is when they start an SMA they want the money right there and then they want to close a client like today so what that normally does is that that kind of like puts people off it's actually called the universal law of need this is actually from a book called fanatical um, prospecting go and read that's absolutely amazing that book and it's more like the more you need something the more you or the more you want something the harder it is to get that one thing it's almost like you know like guys when you're chasing a girl and vice versa or whatever you're into and you chase too hard it's almost like you put that other person off if you will the more you chase and the harder you chase the more you're gonna put that person off it's because you're coming across as too needy too upfront if you will too 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 like you, you need it too much it, it comes across as a sign of weakness if you will whereas me because I was already making money with Upwork and I was sending out these cold emails just as a test it's almost like I was a very nonchalant about it I didn't really care I didn't really care if I closed clients and to be honest with you I actually started setting meetings quite relatively quickly when I started out you know sending cold emails again it was actually a surprise to me that I was actually sending out these emails and I was actually sending get, getting meetings the only problem was is that I just couldn't close the meetings because I didn't really have the greatest statistics or anything or, or like uh, case studies or anything like that at that particular point I don't think and then I found a media buyer that got better then I put together like a case study and that sort of stuff but the point I'm trying to make here is guys is that the, the time you want to hire your first line writer or appointment says is when you actually start and you're able to set at least like three meetings by yourself first well, here's what I recommend you do I recommend right get into a point where you're out of that scarcity mindset You've tested cold emails to the point where you know you can actually set at least two meetings a week consistently for maybe a couple of weeks. And then once you've actually proven to yourself that you can actually set meetings consistently via cold emails by doing it yourself first, this is the key. You wanna do it yourself first, set meetings consistently for like maybe like two meetings a week consistently for a couple of weeks. And you can actually do that consistently by yourself that's when I would introduce a paid element. A paid element is obviously your appoint, you can call them appointment setters or first line writers, whatever you wanna call them. Now the reason for this guys, if you think about it, it's actually quite uh, logical if you will. And the reason for this is you don't wanna just go and hire a first line writer straight away if you don't know what you're doing. And the reason for that is because it's almost like if you have a leaky funnel or a broken funnel and then you run Facebook ads and you pay money to run Facebook ads to a broken funnel, all you're really doing is putting more shit on top of shit. You're not really amplifying it. It's not gonna get better by having, you know, 
on Facebook ads. What you need to do first is fix the funnel and then supercharge that funnel with Facebook ads. So it's almost like if a system doesn't work and the system is shit and then you amplify it with a first line writer by boosting numbers, if you will, you're just gonna boost and amplify shit. So you're gonna amplify a broken system is what I'm trying to say. You don't wanna amplify a broken system. You actually want the system to work first and actually get it to work first. And then what you do is you actually put more fuel, more power or more numbers, if you will, into this particular system. And that's when you should actually start hiring your first line right. So again, to summarize, get out of the scarcity mindset, start testing emails yourself, you know, like very laxly and actually start seeing if you can actually genuinely set like a couple meetings a month. I would actually try to say like five meetings a month. If you can, if you can set like five meetings a month consistently, that's when you know you're probably ready to actually start hiring this out. Cause all you're doing realistically is you're just gonna, you're gonna take the system that's already working that you've actually you know set meetings with and you're just going to train that same system the exact same thing you're doing to set these meetings you're just going to record yourself doing that and pass that on to a first line writer and tell them to do the exact same thing you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis but you do it instead of me that's quite literally all you're doing so if you don't even have the system down pat yourself yet you can't even give that training over to your first line writer in the first place because it's not the training is not going to be there you don't know what you're doing yet so you need to know what you're doing first and that's when you hire your first line writer by the way you can hire first line writers honestly i get all my first line writers from Upwork. By the way, to get a first line writer, you're probably going to have to go through quite a few first line writers. I believe I went through about six to about eight different people. I hired about six to eight different people to find my perfect two first line writers. So be wary about that. And again, I found all of my um, first line writers from, from Upwork and I paid them anywhere from $180 per month to $240 per month as well. And that's for 25 emails per day, five days a week. I think that's like 500 emails per month each. Let's call it, call it $220, that's like the average if you will. $220 per month for 500 emails per month basically. So that's how I go about doing that and again, there's a couple of expenses you need to take in, into consideration. So burner accounts, you're gonna need burner accounts. A burner account is basically an email address that you're going to use just to send cold emails only. And the right reason why it's called a burner domain or burner burner account is because it's gonna get burnt out basically. It's gonna, it, the, the, the sending reputation of that email address is gonna is gonna burn out and you're gonna to need to buy a new one because that one's gonna get trashed basically. It's gonna burn out, long, long story short. Then you also have to factor in whether or not you need multiple Lemlist accounts, obviously Lemlist itself, or you can use Lemlist, you can use Woodpecker, you can use use uh, mail shake those are like cold mass cold email automation tools you need to figure out how much those are going to cost if you need multiple of them because you know you can only send a certain amount of emails per the you know burner domain then you need to figure out how much your burner domains are going to cost and how many first line writers so there's this cost involved you've got first line writer cost you've got burner domain cost and then you've actually got the you know email software cost itself so factor those three things in and as long as you've got the money to, to afford those three things again the way how i did it was i use upwork to get me some cash flow in so I can afford these things over here. That's how I basically did it. And I called that the hybrid system. That's basically all it is. Using cash flow to basically fuel a different system. That's all I basically did. And that's how I basically did it, guys. Uh, so that's how I got how I recommend going about hiring your first line writers and when you should actually you know go about hiring your first line writers or appointment setters, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do want to work with me one to one, they are still four spots available at the time of recording this. Again, I'm recording all my videos today on one particular day, so I don't know what's gonna I can't predict the future but right now as of the 21st of april 2022 there are four spots available there used to be five one's been taken uh, for my one-to-one -one program where you get to work with me i basically help you build your agency from complete scratch or your personal brand from complete scratch or your coaching business or consulting business from complete scratch I help you implement organic methods to attract customers and i help you take that cash flow and build out an outreach team so you can actually get clients organically using cold outreach as well it's like a hybrid system basically is what i'm trying to say i help you build that i help you find the team vet the team, I show you where to hire them from, I show you how to train them, I even give you my internal training, I show you exactly how to come up with offers, how to close those offers, I teach you sales, teach you service delivery, everything from A to Z, all the plug and play sheets, resources, templates, contract, everything you basically need, websites, everything, everything's based, niche research, what niche to be, how to take payment, all of that stuff's included. But anyway guys, if you wanna work with me one-to-one, -on -one, link is below, there's also a video on there, so you can actually check out a little bit more information before you book in. Again, this is for serious people, so don't book in. Uh, I mean, it's still for beginners and, and, and intermediates and whatnot but if you're not obviously like you know at that particular level yet or if you're not serious about this obviously don't book in and whatnot if you are like a complete 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 beginner you don't have that much cash flow then there's always agency transmutation to enroll and that's only 597 dollars that will get you started and up to that 10k per month mark like nick did um with his agency you know pulled in 8k 
got up to 8k per month within just five months of actually starting which is absolutely in insane i don't think he's the first either to be honest with you but anyway guys both of those links are below i'll make them abundantly clear which one's which hope you enjoyed this hope you can take something from this go out there and put some systems in place because honestly when you can duplicate yourself things become so much more easier guys honestly this is literally like a cheat code to sma like quite, quite literally because you can just wake up and see what's on your calendar because you've actually had these calls booked in for you and if it's not a good fit you cancel it and don't take the call but if it is a good fit you, you take the call but long story short guys absolutely insane when you actually get first line writers and you actually do it properly one of the best one of the greatest roi activities you can actually do takes a while to set up once it's done it's absolutely blissful but anyway guys hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to drop me a dm as well on instagram if you've got any questions at montel.gordon that's my only instagram account anyway guys see you in the next video peace